The Redmi Pad Pro and Honor Pad 9 are very similar tablets in a lot of ways but there are some differences, which may make the decision easier. We pretty much get the same strong aluminium construction on both devices. But if you prefer a more portable 12-inch tablet go with the Honor Pad 9 it's 16 grams lighter and 0.56 mm thinner than the Redmi Pad Pro, both tablets share the same cons, they lack a fingerprint sensor, no memory expansion only on the Pad 9, and no video out support on both USB-C 2.0 ports. But they both have OTG support. If face unlock is a big deal, between the two Honor's front camera is better. Four video calls either Honor's 8 megapixels or Redmi's will get the job done at 1080p resolution. But we have a better 13 megapixel rear camera on the Pad 9, compared to Redmi's 8. Both companies have installed very good speakers. Redmi's four speakers are loud and have Dolby Atmos support. Unfortunately as good as they are, they are simply outclassed by Honor's 8 speakers which are Honor hitscene tuned. But the Redmi Pad Pro is offering us a headphone jack and memory expansion up to 1.5 terabytes. There will be links in description to buy these tablets. Both have the same 12.1 inch display but Redmi has a slight advantage. It has Dolby Vision support and it has up to 600 nits of brightness. Making it better when dealing with reflections in well-lit environments. Another bonus is the Corning Gorilla Glass 3. They both share some similarities like 120Hz refresh rate, they have TUV Rhineland low blue light, flicker-free and circadian display certifications. Basically they protect your eyes during long periods of use. Both displays are 2.5K resolution. But Redmi's Pad Pro has a bit more contrast and is slightly more color accurate. Since it has 12-bit color depth versus 10-bit on the Honor Pad 9. But without both devices together you won't notice this, but if you want a slightly better display go with Red MI. Battery life ultimately depends on what you will be doing but for now things kinda look one-sided. Honor's 8300 mAh battery is impressive but the crown goes to Redmi's 10,000 mAh battery. It will last longer especially if you are not a demanding user, you will go a couple of days without need to worry. But with 33 watt charging it will take some time to refill. The Honor Pad 9 will refill faster with 35 watt charging, mainly because of the less battery capacity. These are not high-end tablets so gaming is on medium or HD graphics sometimes. In demanding titles like Genshin Impact expect playable frame rates and decent graphics. But otherwise both the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 and Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 will provide almost similar performance really does not matter much which you choose. But preferably go with a higher RAM variant, this will provide future proofing. Plus utilizing ecosystem features like Xiaomi interconnectivity or multitasking with multiple windows will work much better. We'll get to software support very soon but, I want to talk a bit about the accessories. Both tablets lack pogo pin connectors. Therefore their keyboard covers work via Bluetooth connection. The Honor Pad 9 has Bluetooth 5.1 versus 5.2 on the Redmi Pad Pro. It's quite obvious Red MI will have a stronger connection. Plus as Bluetooth accessories you can use them detached from the tablet. You can't magnetically attach the stylus anywhere on the tablet on both devices. The stylus are good for drawing or note-taking. Unfortunately you have to charge both styluses separately, as well as the keyboard covers. But if you want a 12-inch tablet and you are will to pay extra for the keyboard L would recommend the Lenovo Tab P12, that tablet actually comes with a free stylus. Which is as good as the ones both of the rivals are offering. And the keyboard cover doesn't need to be charged. It's one of the tablets that most people actually prefer to use with a keyboard cover in our community. I will leave a link in description with more info. Redmi is providing Android 15 and 16 updates and security patches until 2026. It already has Android 14 preloaded. At the time of making the video software support for the Honor Pad 9 is not certain. Even worse it comes with Android 13. As we have observed, 
There really is not much differences between these two tablets. But as an entertainment device some people might prefer the Redmi Pad Pro over the Honor Pad 9, since it has memory expansion, a headphone jack, known software support and a slightly better display. Not forgetting longer battery life. If you choose the Honor Pad 9, it's still fine. Choose the tablet that offers more when satisfying your most important needs and whilst factoring how much you are willing to spend. That's it for Marembo Reviews It for today, links in description if interested, thanks for watching.